This is Witchbase News for Friday the 7th of January 2022 I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week there's an opportunity for you to be part of a streamed mass jump event Frontier has a hotfix for Elite Dangerous Odyssey on the way, the Hull Seals and Operation Ida publish their end of year reviews, Buckyball Racing plans a whole year of events, this weeks haulage CG is awarding pre engineered FSDs and more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. We start this new year in Elite Dangerous with end of year reviews from two of the galaxy's most prominent emergency service player groups Starship Repair Specialists the Hull Seals and the Starport Repair Specialists of Operation Ida. The Hull Seals report contains the collective thoughts of the groups leadership on the year we've just left as well as looking forward to the year ahead whilst also covering off details on the organisations income and running costs. The report from Operation Ida provides some interesting insight into the numbers of stations repaired this year as well as the total number of stations repaired by the organisation since its inception. They passed the significant milestone of 200 stations repaired late last year and are also reporting that in total the community has repaired 255 stations to date. Last year Ida shifted nearly 18 million tonnes of cargo when bringing stations back to life. That workload was managed by 358 commanders handling 24,384 deliveries utilising 65 active registered fleet carriers. The logistics management of the stuff that Ida handles is glorious, absolutely bonkers numbers. To get involved with the whole seals or Operation Ida yourself you'll find links in the video description to both of them and the respective annual reports we've talked about here. If you're an Elite Dangerous Odyssey player and you've been wondering what the relative benefits of adding a scope to a given weapon are and want to make an informed decision before committing to it then Commander Radium IO has you covered. The helpful commander this week published an imager gallery showing side by side comparisons of 99% of the weapons in the game iron sighted with and without a scope attachment. The gallery also contains some useful commentary where appropriate on any relative side effects of adding the scope. The only weapon not featured with a scope currently in the gallery is the Manticore Tormentor Plasma Pistol which Radium IO is reporting as incorrectly zeroed when in iron sights at the time of recording. Overall a very welcome and useful reference. Matt Ricardo's Elite Dangerous Ship Scale video received a welcome update just before the turn of the year bringing it bang up to date with all the known ships, stations, capital class vessels and fleet carriers. If you've never seen the previous iterations of Matt's video I'd urge you to take a look at the newly updated one. The scale of things in Elite Dangerous is often lost when conveyed through a monitor or a TV but Matt's beautifully realised and rendered videos communicate the incredible enormity of the ships, carriers and stations in a very easily digestible and enjoyable form that also comes packaged with a wry sense of humour including objects like a banana for scale and even a speculated unofficial model for the off requested mega hauler the Panther Clipper. You'll find a link in the video description below. Post Christmas and New Year Frontier were reasonably quiet this week with no Elite Dangerous livestreams or major announcements yet as they undoubtedly begin lining up their respective space ducks for what is to come. Community manager Sally Morgan Moore did post to the forums to advise that a welcome hotfix for Elite Dangerous Horizons on consoles and PCs is planned to arrive early next week, fair winds willing. 
The fix will be addressing issues with fire group editing that arrived in update 9 right before Christmas. It's extremely likely that the implementation of the fix will once again cause fire groups to be reset across the board in Horizons. This is an unfortunate and unavoidable side effect of the way the system is implemented so be prepared for that once the update arrives. We don't yet know when specifically it will be deployed. As soon as we do we'll post it to our YouTube community pages. In case you missed it you'll see linked on screen about now our previous video that details every new feature we know is inbound or being worked on for Elite Dangerous the vast majority of which affects Horizons players as well as Odyssey players. Pillar of the forums and extra galactic enigma Alec Turner sends word this week that the creators of the galaxy's most imaginative time trial races the Bucky Ball Racing Club have a full year long championship event planned featuring 8 of the most popular races from their 6 year 79 race history. All of the events are time trial based and will run over the course of a week or 2 weeks depending on the event with your top 5 results from the year counting toward eventual championship standing at the end of the whole thing. It's completely platform and game version agnostic so it matters not if you're playing in Elite Dangerous Horizons or Elite Dangerous Odyssey on PC or consoles. Everyone is welcome. To register your interest in the 3308 Buckyball Magic 8 Ball Championships ...thanks for that Alec uh, and join the Buckyball community you'll find a link in the video description. On the 14th of March last year the expedition known as the Comfy Cannon Cruise departed the bubble to visit every single known biological, geological and stellar phenomena the Milky Way had to offer outside of atmospheric worlds. Following in the footsteps of Commander Marzanthius and the Cannon Challenge the carrier based expedition has visited 134 waypoints in 300 days travelling over 500,000 light years and on Saturday the 8th of January ...that's tomorrow as I speak these words ...the epic voyage comes to an end in the Verati system the home of Cannon Interstellar Research. In celebration of the event an armada of ships will be mass jumping in Odyssey to the system to meet the incoming fleet carrier and the expedition's participants. Spearheading the colossal cat herding exercise will be friend of the channel, Twitch streamer and co-host of the flight assist podcast Commander Mal for the win. If you'd like to be part of the Welcome Home Armada and participate in the mass jump ...we've hosted a couple of these at the Burr Pit and they really are quite a thing to behold if you've never done it before ...then you'll find a link to the forum post for the event in the video description. If you can't get there then fear not the whole event will be streamed on Mao's channel starting from 8pm UTC on Saturday. Again you'll find links to everything you need linked below. The third phase of the Colonia Bridge project to build a super highway between the bubble and its distant sibling Colonia kicked off in game this week demanding commodities be delivered to both ends of the bridge Alcor in the bubble and the Colonia system toward the centre of the galaxy. As well as cash rewards the community goal will be rewarding the top 75% of contributors with up to 3 of the much prized pre double engineered frameshift drives. After the goal completed in record time when these drives were available previously I was really pleased to see that Frontier have further balanced and wiggled this community goal to ensure that, no matter what, everyone will have the full week right up until next Thursday to participate should they so desire. Further, due to the decreased flow of traffic at the Colonia end of the goal the hoops that need jumping through in Colonia to unlock all the drives are much less stringent. And again the very highest contributing commanders at each end will be invited by Frontier to name one of the deployed stations that results from the goals completion. Once completed this part of the bridge will deploy actual starports as well as the previously deployed permanently anchored megaships along the route between Colonia and the bubble. The plan being that these starports will spawn micro bubbles of their own. Like a pathway of little twinkling beacons of light pointing the way to Colonia for anyone or indeed anything that wishes to follow it. So that's nice right? 
Will you be participating in the mass jump or are you hauling like a thing possessed trying to bag yourself a free FSD? Do you think the Thargoids will be climbing the beanstalk to go say hi to Colonia in the new year and will the resultant CG call for a colonial wall to be built? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.